More than 42 million Americans received food stamps as of November 2022, according to the latest federal data. The Farm Bill Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP, provides vital assistance to millions of disadvantaged Americans. But there are some crucial nutritional gaps that demand attention. On this weekend's hometown, Avni Lal has more with Carolina Schneider, a registered dietitian and founder of Hungry for Plants. Here's a preview. Carolina, thank you for joining us today. The Farm Builds Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP, provides assistance to millions of disadvantaged Americans. How does this influence nutrition choices for families? Yeah, so the Farm Bill is actually up for renewal coming up now in September. And the Farm Bill sets provisions for nutrition assistance programs such as SNAP, which some of you may know as food stamps, that's what we used to call it. Um, so the Farm Bill can really either hinder or promote how much access Americans have to nutritious food. So any changes in the eligibility criteria, the program funding, um, or even the program structure can affect you know, SNAP. So changes within the bill will affect how much access people have through SNAP. So what changes should we expect in the coming years are up in the renewal? Yes, yeah, so there are two things that I think are very important to make revisions to the Farm Bill and therefore to SNAP. One is to set more strict guidelines on how people spend their SNAP benefits. So I think prioritizing fresh, wholesome foods from local independent grocers, um, natural product stores is important. People already have access to it, but they, they may not know they have access to those great stores. A second thing is to incorporate vitamin supplementation into SNAP. So currently, people have access to food, but only foods. So as a dietitian, unfortunately, I know that sometimes food is not enough to help us get to appropriate levels of nutrients in the blood. So one vitamin that I believe is the most important and urgent um, for us to address as a nation is vitamin D. We all suffer, about 40% of Americans have a vitamin D deficiency. So imagine these people that already um, are more vulnerable and don't have access to nutritious foods, right? So making vitamin D supplementation a part of SNAP would give these people the opportunity to meet their nutrient needs um, and get appropriate vitamin D, which we know is important for preventing a myriad of health conditions. For the full interview with Carolina Schneider, tune into Hometown tomorrow morning at 1130.